and hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to another brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Now, today's tutorial, we're taking a look at Adobe After Effects and showing you how to create a disintegration effect, and I'll show you what it looks like right here. I've already completed the effect on this composition, and then I'll show you how, it's, how to actually create it step by step. So, check it out. This is actually a recorded on my green screen here. So, here we go. And there you go. So it looks pretty cool. It's, it's a nice, simple effect. It's something that's very simple to do if you want to have this sort of disappearing effect. If you're shooting something and you want to add something cool to your uh, project, this is something very simple to do. And it's pretty fun to do as well. A lot of different customizations you can do with it. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is create a new composition. Let's go ahead up to composition, new composition. And 15 seconds will do just fine. Go ahead and press OK. Select the settings you want to select. Let's go ahead and drag our movie file on top here. So what I basically did is I just cut out the stuff that we don't need. If you have a footage, a piece of footage that has like multiple takes where you've done it multiple times because you want to just make sure you have it right, what I would suggest you do is cut anything out that you don't need and just keep the footage that you need. Right now this is all the footage I need. You can see that I cut out what comes after this and I cut out what comes before this. To cut stuff out, what you're going to have to do is press Control, Shift, and D, the D key, and that'll basically split your layers up and then you can just click one and delete it. So that's generally what you want to do to split layers and delete things you don't need. And essentially what you want to do for this effect is create three layers. Now one layer will be your main footage layer, which is just going to be the original source. Your second layer is going to be the effect layer, where you're applying the effect to a piece of footage. And your third layer is going to be the background layer. Those are the three layers you're going to need to create this effect. And I think my RAM preview should be almost done. There we go. And let's take the sound off. We don't need that. So yeah, essentially what you want to do is have your background at the end because at the end your effect will end whenever your effect ends you want to have a background there so what I'm gonna do if you have some background footage where it's just the background if you have that at the end of a clip then that's fine just cut out uh, the end of the clip and make it a background layer Right now, I don't have anything at the very end because I end up just coming close to my camera and turning the camera off. So I have to use this uh, bit right here, the front here, which is just fine. If you're the same like me, you don't have an end bit where you have background, that's fine. And what you're going to want to do is drag this to the end so it looks like uh, the background is at the end. And we're just going to move this forward like so. And then what you want to do is create another layer where you want to start the effect. When do you want your subject to start disappearing? I think we'll do it Don't want to do it right there? Let's do it right there. I think, I think it'd be kind of cool if we do it right there. And uh, so right here, I want to start disappearing. So here are the three layers. We have the original footage right here. It just leads up and then we have the uh, layer where the effect is taking place right here and then we have the background here so once you have those three what we're gonna do is freeze the frame at where we want the effect to take place so we clearly want the effect to take place right here in the first frame right here so click your middle layer here right click go to time and go freeze frame and what you'll notice is that now everything looks the same here it doesn't matter how many frames you go into it or back it's the same frame now here's where the background comes into play you want to go ahead and move your background underneath this footage and have what I like to do is align it up like that if you don't have enough footage to cover the effect layer just copy and paste it. it's just fine it's not gonna cause any problems and then we're just gonna go ahead and cut off the section that we don't need we don't need that control shift D and delete it so now we have our background layer these two 
underneath our effect layer and we have our main source footage here. We're not gonna worry about the main source footage, we're completely done with that. So you don't need to worry about the main source footage. The background footage, you can leave the same too. The only thing we're gonna work on now is the effect layer here. Now what you're gonna need to do is create a mask around your subject. So what I suggest you do is zoom in a bit, uh, grab your hand tool, your move tool, and grab your pen tool. And with this pen tool, just go ahead and sort of draw a rough sketch around your subject or around yourself, whoever or whatever you're creating this effect around. Note that you don't need to do this with a person. You could literally do this, you know, with a car, if you want a car to disintegrate or whatever, you know? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, you can, you know, roughly do it. It doesn't have to be exactly up to the edge, especially if you don't have a very clear camcorder then you may get these pixelized rough edges, which is just fine. But the more accurate you are with this, obviously with everything, the more accurate you are, the better the outcome will be. And the, uh, the more of a base color of a background you have, the more, um, the more abstract your background is, the more precise you're gonna have to be with this. So if you're on a, like a white wall behind you or a green wall like I am here, then you, know, you can be a bit more rough with the sketch around here. But if you have a very abstract background with a lot of different colors, or if you're outside, then you may wanna do a better job at creating this mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward here. I'll probably speed this up and I'll see you guys when I finish the mask. So there we go, we have our mask complete. And if you have it connected at the bottom, that's fine, that's how it's supposed to be. Now from here on, we're gonna go ahead and go to our effects panel here and type in CC Scatterize, or just CC Scat, and it should come up. And go ahead and drag this effect on top of this layer, like so. And you should see the effects panel come up on the left side here. Now. What we're gonna do is we wanna animate this. And a lot of things in uh, After Effects deal with animation. So we're gonna move to the first frame here. This is where we want the effect to start. And what we're gonna do is hold down the effects button here. Pull this down for CC scatter. And your scatter value is basically gonna be how far you want your pieces to scatter, how much you want them to scatter. Don't let all these things confuse you. Scatter is just how much you want particles to scatter. If we move this up a lot, you'll see the more we move it up, the more scattered they are. So decide on that. I like to use a value of, well, we clearly wanna start at zero, right? We're gonna start at zero. So go ahead and make a uh, keyframe here. Uh, click a little stopwatch here and then how many seconds do we want it to pass before our effect is at maximum scatter? Let's zoom out a bit. And right here, we're at six seconds. So about half a second, I'd say. So how about right, actually maybe, maybe a second. So right around there, I'd say that's good. Let's make this a scatter of 400. Let's try 400. You could play around with the setting. If you want to put 300 or 200, that's fine too. But I think about 500. Uh, 500 might be too much. 400. 400 is fine. And what you'll notice is when you scrub through this, you can see actually how this is generated like that. Now you have to do keyframes. The important part is doing the keyframes. Now, if you want to be more creative, you can also do a left and right twist. And what this means is the best way to see this is to sort of go towards the middle of your animation here. And once you start moving this, you'll see that you can make it go up. You can make it, um, yeah, basically go up. It's sort of like a 3D-ish weird thing. That's how I sort of see it. But you'll see that when you scrub through it, um, these basically sort of collide in and go back out. 
But I think, you know, it, it looks kind of bad because the only way that that will look good is if you have the particles actually emerging to the center and then exploding again. But, um, you know, I don't think this particular effect allows you to do that. So we're not going to add a twist. However, you can add small amounts of twists to left and right if you'd like. And those are the three main options you want to play with. Now, right now this is our main effect, but we don't we don't we don't just want this. If you if you take a look at this, once the effect is over, we automatically go to like our background right here. You see once the effect is over, it just stays. That's all that happens. It just stays. It doesn't go away. So what we want to do is add an opacity keyframe to make these particles go away. So let's say Maybe, at uh, what time are we here? We're at 7.07, .07, so perhaps a quarter of a second, or right around there. Let's have our opacity. If you want to change the opacity, go ahead and toggle all this down. Go to Transform and go for Opacity. At this point right here, we want to be at 100% opacity, right? But by the time this effect ends, and the effect will end right here, by the time we get here, I think the effect ends here, right? Yeah, the effect ends here. By the time we get here, we want this to be at 0%, like so. And then when we when we RAM preview this, let's go ahead and toggle that up again. RAM preview. You'll see. Look at that. That looks beautiful. It looks a lot better than our original, actually, too, because I, I basically keyframed this to like happen as I move my hands now, it looks really cool. I really like how that came out. It came out a lot better than the original. So that's kind of how the effect works. Just working with CC scatter and the opacity. It's a neat little effect, really cool. And it's very easy to do if you're, if you're a beginner to After Effects. Playing around with some of these simple effects can really help you. And, and playing with layer masks and whatnot, it's very easy to do. So let's get a final preview without the mask in here. Check that out. We come up, look left, look right, shocked, and we disappear. Awesome. I love it. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave in the comments section below. We have plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding After Effects, Premiere Pro, Audacity, lots of different software stuff. I highly recommend you check it out if you're into your software and you know editing and all that stuff. Lots of cool stuff on the channel. Plenty more to come as well. Like I said, any feedback, any questions, confusions, leave in the comments section. Definitely be down there answering questions you have. Any suggestions to make this even cooler, leave it down there. I would love to hear some suggestions. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.